Uh, I've been working on the Prandtl D wing, and you can see it's the same one that NASA did. Um, wrote a white paper on. I've been working on doing it in foam board, and thinking, eh, how hard could it be? And I think I came very close. So hopefully you can see when you look down the edge. You see. Other than the slight curve up, getting a very similar thing. I'm definitely getting some turnout at the end. That's, I think, the worst of the two. Here's the other one. <clears throat> you can see there's a slight nub in the middle, somewhere about here. It turns out forward here. So. Uh, this side turned out much better than the other, but they're really close. Um, you can see it's broken into two sections. Uh, this is the Klein Y style wing. It's actually not. It's got the slight uh, four degree, or close to the four degree um, up tilt in the back. And then this is supposed to be symmetrical, and well, I don't know if I did a great job with that. but. I did do the twist, and I think that's probably the critical piece. Um, I think it'll work. I don't think it'll be the most efficient. Um, so I estimated based on normal methods, although Al Bauer says that it isn't how it balances, but that there are two spots here, here that balances, and I figured that with 21 grams right at this spot, and I'll be able to calculate the distance. 21 grams at this spot balances it, I think. So, I'm going to try this over the next couple days for a glide test. With any luck, it works really well. But, most importantly, I'm really excited. This is a four and a half foot wing if it's on the elbow. If it's straight, it's five. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's pretty exciting. So, I figured I should uh, give you a little bit... Oh, oh, that's what I wanted to do this whole test for. So now, I wanted to check the what kind of wiggle am I dealing with. So we've got a bunch of forces out near the end, but I would say it's pretty rigid out to about here, which is... Oh, look at that. That is a 60-70% mark. And it's pretty rigid, but it's pretty flexible out here. This method is basically using the ironing technique. Um, I think the problem with the ironing technique is it creates a little bit more curl sometimes. Um, but it does allow me to get these razor sharp edges. So, um, so it's basically like the Nerdnik method. Um, what I do is I keep the bottom and I iron each side. Okay, to the angles I'm looking for, which is a very shallow angle on the back and a 45 degree-ish on the bottom. Um, then on the top, I basically leave a center strip to glue on my spar to and a strip along the back edge so that way this glue seam is pretty strong. And then the rest of it, I remove. <clears throat> I let the foam board curl like normal. Um, that's pretty much the the gist of it. This is off of the plans that I have on the site, and so if this works like a help, um, well, you'll get to try it. Awesome. Have a great day. Happy flying.